Aquarius, why you keep these hoes all delirious, baby? It is Vera, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpio Red Sorrow. I am back at it again. We are here for the love portion of y'all's reading. We are here to find out what the current energies are um, in love at this current moment. So I want to give a shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to every last one of my babies for like, sharing, subscribing, and clicking this video. As you know, before we get into the love readings, we're going to find out... Um, First, we want to give praise and acknowledgement and thanks to God, to the creator, um, to the founder of our existence, just for um, bringing us here and um, shedding love and light on us. So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Aquarius. We're here to find out what the current energies are in love for the people that are in relationships. We want to find out what we need to know to help strengthen, to help balance, and to help... Um, create more happiness in the current love relationships and for the singles we want to uh get the information to help us um call in the strongest the most potent the most enjoyable love um the most satisfying love that uh, aquarius can have in their life so father god please continue to keep your hand on aquarius and god aquarius and please give a sign of aquarius uh the goddess that they need to receive today in jesus name amen amen and amen Let's get into this. All right, Aquarius. Why you be having them so delirious, baby? Let's see. What we got going on in love for my Aquarius? Why you be having them so delirious? What you do to them this time, baby? So let me see. <laughs> Aquarius, what we got going on in love? What is the current energy surrounding my Aquarius in love? Ooh, you got Cupid's arrow. Ooh, okay. You got the Phoenix. You got the girl with the snake. I like you and something else. Hold on. You got Cupid arrow. You got the butterfly. Oh, excuse me. Not the, uh, the Phoenix. You got the butterfly. You got I like you. Addiction. Date. The girl with the snake. So, what I'm getting off the bat, it's like you could have met someone, someone that, um, I want to say like you were very interested in at first. I feel like you, I seen the I like you in the reverse. And I also seen the butterfly come out in the reverse. So, it said butterfly, uh, uh, butterfly means a uh, re relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child growth and I like you means someone likes you romance blooming fun flirting wanting to date and like both of these came out in the reverse so it's like that there's someone is interested in you that I feel like you're not really that interested in you like you don't see anything evolving you don't see things going to the next phase but it's like this person is like addicted to you like they're attached <laughs> they're attached like I feel like someone can't let go their ideas of involvement with you I want to say like this date continues to play over and over in their mind like they still like regardless if you're telling this person like I'm not interested in you like that I don't really see things evolving in the way that you want to it's like this person is like still very much so attached to you and still has this idea about wanting to date you it says empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used enable boundaries codependent obsession possessive controlling has a block restraint meeting someone new dating getting back out there plan slash set a date I feel like someone doesn't want to I feel like someone is maybe not interested in you or you're not interested in them the way that they're interested in you I feel like you maybe dated this person one time and quickly realized like you know <laughs> got the ace of pentacles trying to pop out it's like I, I quickly realized like I, I maybe not want to see this person again 
what's currently going on in love with um you got the king of swords i am going to put that in the upright position what is this you got the knight of swords in the reverse i just heard it's like i'm i'm up oh Princess of Wands. And <laughs> you got the Five of Cups in the reverse. <laughs> I mean, it's not in the reverse, it's in the upright. <laughs> oh my God. So, I just, I honestly heard when, um, I seen this come out. The King of Swords and the Knight of Swords in the reverse. I feel like it's like I heard him say like I'm gonna tell you one last time like I'm I'm not interested in you. I feel like this time they're not being so polite and nice about it, and it's like the Aquarius tried to be nice and matter of fact with you before, but it's like someone isn't getting it. It's like someone I feel like is um very immature. I feel like this is lust based. I feel like someone could have regret having sex with you or it's like maybe on a date it's like they could have had sex with this person on a first date or something like that and it's like they're addicted and maybe after the sex it's like this person I want to say that this man is like a bachelor like I want to say this man is very comfortable being by itself like older kind of like set in his ways um I mean, could very much so be a narcissist. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, this person is, like, very, very set in his ways. Like, it doesn't, he's not a codependent energy. This person isn't someone that's just going to outwardly show you all of this emotion and stuff like that. So, it's like, if that's what you're looking for, like, I'm not the person for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm... <laughs> What am I trying to say here? I just heard it's like I support you in your growth and your new beginnings, but it's it's not going to be with me. It's not going to be now. It's, it, it was never in a past time, and it's not going to be in the future. It's just like not who this person is as an individual. I don't feel like this person um, wants to do anything outside of, of, of dating. Um, I feel like someone... Could have went out with someone, possibly had sexual intercourse with someone too quickly, um, before someone was even sure that they even really liked them like that. It's like, it could have been like this insane attraction, just like off the bat, like thinking that this was is a mature man or something like that and realizing quickly like, nothing wasn't going to involve with this one either. Like this person is... It's very much so I want to I don't want to say like a dog but because I don't think that this person is a dog I just feel like this person is not looking to do anything outside of dating people this person may have a lot of individuals that they're dating right now um attached to them this person could probably be a very good lover they know it um yeah I feel like they like younger lovers. This is, again, this is a princess. Yeah, this is a princess of wands. So, this is someone that I feel like is very beautiful. But I don't feel like um, on a maturity level is ready to deal with someone on this level. It's like this person is going to beat you at your own game. Because like if you think that sex and sexuality is what you're going to use to come around and like lure and control this guy it's like this person can easily have sex with you without emotion without you know what i'm saying and it's like this woman or whoever this is on the receiving and whoever the younger um personality is i want to say that they're kind of shocked at like how easily removed like 
they are from you. It's like they, they're, they're so far emotionally removed. And you may thought of like a future. You may have thought of like this big picture. Of, of, I don't know. Because I feel like the sex hit him and it's just like a Cupid arrow. It's Yeah, it was sex. It was just... This person is just good. <laughs> I... Yeah, nothing is going to evolve here. Nothing is going to evolve here. I feel like you're beautiful, but outside of that, like this person may not want much to do with you. Like, I want to say, like, the communication may have slowed down. Like, this person may not come and visit you like they used to. I want to say like this whole situation could have took you off track because it's just like emotionally like I want to say like someone is like emotionally distraught and depressed right now. Um, I want to say that this person may be constantly looking at someone's pictures, constantly thinking about what this person said on a date. Um, constantly having flashbacks of like the sexual intimacy and, and, and wanting and craving it and, and, and I want to say like just not processing or letting it go look and then the snake just popped out again the snake just popped out again so, uh, uh, <laughs> so I want to say someone could be sexually whipped and then here you got the mouse it's like someone sneaking away thieving trickery manipulation i want to say like deterioration so it's like i want to say it's like taking something valuable from the other person i don't want to say like their cheese it's not their cheese but it's and you got the security I want to say it's like their security blanket has been stolen or something like that. I just heard I don't want to disrespect or dishonor you. So it's like I, I don't even want to give you the falsehood of, of a security blanket. So it's like whatever it was that. It's like someone could have dangled like um, security and, and a piece of cheese. Like you want this? Like you can have this forever for always or something like that. It is like as soon as you think you get a good grasp of it, it's like it's motherfucking like nah. Like I really wasn't about to let that go. Like you know what I'm saying? It's like some type of. I want to say it's like someone was like playing high level mind games with somebody. It's like someone fed on someone's sense of security. Someone feels like something has been stolen from them. It's like you, you, you let me perceive that it was going to be this way, and then you, 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 you took it away from me in an instant. It's like in a heartbeat. It's like you played a game, like you knew what you were doing, type of thing, like that. It's like some type of falsehood of security. Like someone knew that. Someone wanted something permanent. And it's like it's like a play. It's like they played on someone's intentions. Yeah, it's like What's going on here, love? Tell me what's going on here. Let 
the death card. The king of cups. Like the emotional manipulative ass motherfucker. You got the seven of cups and the chariot in the reverse. So. Hmm. I feel like. Especially because I feel like this is a young energy. I feel like someone took advantage of someone that they knew did not know their self that much. Because the Seven of Cups is like someone that instead of reading the fine print, they're just going off of what is being offered to them at face values. It's like someone could easily be swayed, easily be manipulated, manipulated with the chariot in reverse. Like they don't have like a firm destination uh, 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 you know it's like they're taking a shot in the in the wind to see where something is going to land it's like just trying out options kind of like blindly just to see if it's going to work because you really don't know what you want it's just like someone going being a freshman in college and it's like yeah you're just going the first couple of years to just take some courses. It's like they're not really looking for you to really um, to decide on a, a on a direct field to study yet until you're like a junior or a senior or something like that, you know. So it's like because someone knew that it's like you're impressionable. You're still learning. It's like still not having a direction, still not knowing which way you were going. It was like someone took advantage of that. It's like they took a pot of shit and put fool's gold over top of it and sprayed some potpourri shit around the cup so you couldn't smell it. It was shit and try to serve it to you. You know, but because it was shiny and... It had all those nice flowers, a garden bed of flowers and all of the potpourri and things like that. It's like you took what was being given to you at face value. Instead of you paying more attention of who it was that was offering it to you and what their reputation is. And that wasn't even real gold. That's, that's, that's fool's gold. Like, what is the value of fool's gold? Like, you know, it's like you just... Someone really took someone for a ringer and it's because of I just heard like an uh I kinda I, I kinda heard I'm not a kinda heard I heard like an addictive personality it's like kind of taking whatever is being offered to you without asking questions. It's like if you see Everybody else going to the concession stand, buying the cup of fool's gold and the potpourri bed around it. It's like you want that in your house too because that's what you see everybody else doing. And that just seems to be the popular choice right now instead of knowing how you want your shit to look. You know what I'm saying? Like, So it's like someone can easily be swayed by popular opinion. So it was like this King of Swords right here, especially with that Nine of Swords in the, that Knight of Swords in the reverse. This motherfucker is a liar, manipulator, a user, an abuser, um, in a whole lot of things. This person is just very masterful and knows how to mask it. And then it's like once they get called out on their bullshit, they jump into the King of Swords throne. And it's like they stand down on their, on their shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, I said what I said and I meant what I said and I told you the truth. You know what I'm saying? So it's like back and forth between their high and low vibrational ways. It's like, yeah, you're a king of swords. I feel like this person feels like because they present who and what they are at face value it's like you know the responsibility to deal with me is on your own 
like I told you, it wasn't any um, security here. That I wasn't looking for anything to evolve. I told you that I like you, but not in the way that you, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, I did offer, you know what I'm saying? I offered you my penis. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I could take it back. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and I know you like it, but I, I'm, I might not give it to you again. Unless you do what I, you know what I'm saying? Because this motherfucker is manipulative. Very manipulative. And this person knows how to play on this person's wants, needs, desires. This person knows that they're missing them. This person knows that they are um, have a lust, a craving, and a desire for this person. You got the death card and the king of cups in the reverse. I'm just going to keep it 100. I really do feel like this person, I want to say like the challenge. Um, I, don't, I don't think that this person wants anything to do with you. I, I really don't. I want to say but it's not a challenge. It was like too easily obtained. And I feel like it's. I feel like once the person starts tripping, starts emotional, tripping, it's like they, they don't even want it anymore. It's like this person got what they came to get and just want to keep it going. It's like they know that they could come back whenever they want to type of thing. But you got the death card right here. I don't know, you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio. I want to say just very emotionally calculated. Very, um, not available emotionally. I want to say, like, in the death card here, I want to say it's whoever this is that is dealing with this energy. I want to say the death card is more for you. I feel like you need to understand that you need, that this is toxic. The girl with the snake, the snake, <laughs> the girl with the snake. The snake, the king of cups in the reverse. Like, you need to realize that this was some bullshit. It's just like lustful. It's not love. It's not it's not anything serious. It's it's just lust. It's just lust. <laughs> like, it's just lust. Like this person is older. They knew how to manipulate you. They knew how to do what you want. And how to have you sitting there tripping and wanting for more. And it's like this person could be getting off on the fact that you're tripping over them like that. <laughs> the fact that you're not letting this go. Like this person does this for ego. Since you're a grown ass adult, stop blaming others for your shit. It says wake up. You aren't. It says, wake up, you're missing some cool shit. I know that's right. And then off to the top, it says, it's not that serious. Have you eaten? You're acting like a big ass baby. Like, yeah, it's like someone here is like really feeling destroyed because this person doesn't want to have anything to do with them. I really feel like someone got the, got the dick and leave. <laughs> they, 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 they got the puss and they, and they dip. If someone's tripping. It says you're a grown ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. Have you eaten? You're acting like a big ass baby. So it's like someone is more. Someone is giving too much. Into their feelings. About someone that is like. Really not caring about you. I feel like someone needs to look at the situation. For what it is. It's like. You got hit by some good dick. <laughs> like, that's it. Like, you got hit by some good dick by an ancient ass motherfucker. Like, it don't matter if the person is older. Like, sometimes the older people are, are, are even worse. 
I don't know, but I feel like this is a cross worth watch, watching this about an Aquarius man, or this could be an Aquarius, a younger woman that was dealing with like a Scorpio or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <laughs> Whoever this is, it's like cold hearted, brutal. They are set in their ways, and I'm like, I don't want you to sit back. Not taking care of yourself, not eating, not doing the shit that you normally used to do, worrying about when this person is going to call you. Okay? It says, it's not everyone else's fault, it's yours. You need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. I'm just saying, it's like taking some level of responsibility. I, I feel like this person, like, told you. Who they are and what they were not looking for. I just feel like you were anchored in on what you wanted to believe. It's like you wanted security, like the dick was good, you felt like this person was mature, and it was like you. My, I, I, I feel like this person. told you a lot of the truth by not telling you anything sometimes it's like certain questions you would ask this person and they would just like not even answer it and they would just go to another topic and like that's telling you a lot especially if someone was avoiding some conversation with you So as some aspect, it's like you could have allowed this person to get away with something by your own, like, delusion. Like, this, never, this person never confirmed that they really liked you like that or that they wanted to take things further. I feel like everything that was talked about was, like, sexual. I see it's not that serious. Wake up, you're missing some cool shit. So, yeah, somebody, especially with this Five of Cups, is really, like, soaking in their emotions and letting a lot of valuable time pass you by about someone that ultimately means nothing. And it's like, you, like, someone needs to get over it. You need to, like, mourn, process this, get over it so that you can, like, start a new day, basically. Like, whatever communication that you've been having with this person, you need to cut them out. With this Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, you need to cut them out, Aquarius. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you need to just stop talking to this person. Bottom line. It says, wake up. You're missing some cool shit. It's not that serious. Like, this is not that serious. It's not, it said, on the back side, it says, stop sleeping so damn much. Laugh, fuckers. Don't let the bullshit make you bitter. Like someone is like really crying. It's like you're exhausted yourself from all of the crying. And you're just sulking. Being sad. Laying around. Sleeping. Feeling like. <laughs> and again I feel like someone's waiting for someone's call. Or wait you know. And it's not. It's not. Don't let this person or this, this, this situation steal your joy. You know. Mm-mm. I don't like this energy. You deserve better. You deserve better. And again, it's like, not trying to be too harsh, but you know that these are the rebel cars, so they're going to go hard. But again, like it says, it's not everybody else's fault. It's yours. It's like, you believe the hype, or you be you believed your own delusion, where this person is like, you know, like, go eat. Stop laying around sleeping. Take care of yourself. And let's get back to business, Aquarius. Anyway, this has been your reading. I love you. Thank you for loving me. I will see you guys in October. Peace.